Hey guys, it's Erica. Erica, Erica Sager. Oh shit, it's Erica Sager. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my curly hair routine. As you can maybe tell, I have pretty curly hair. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys exactly what I do for this routine as well as talking a little bit about the history of my hair. That sounds so dramatic, but like what I've done with my hair, um, as well as what products I use, how frequently I wash my hair. Um, what exactly I do in terms of technique, but yeah, so if that sounds interesting to you guys Please keep watching and let's get started. So as I said, but like again not to be dramatic dramatic hmm. I haven't heard that one before so in terms of like what I've done with my hair um, When I was first growing up not like this is gonna be like a life story But I didn't get a haircut till I was 10 and then I like have gotten haircuts probably every like six to eight months since I turned 10 and I'm almost 20 so you do the math um like I don't really get my hair cut all that often but I like to when I notice that it's really dry at the ends so yeah that's like how I gauge that um and then I've never really dyed my hair never really bleached it I did do a box dye um in October of this past year but I've never formally dyed my hair but I intend to change that this summer I think but yeah otherwise I grew up with pretty curly hair um, and then it kind of like flattened and straightened out when I grew it extremely long and then when I cut it it was sort of like wavy and then progressively over time my hair has gotten curlier like increasingly curlier every year it's kind of ridiculous um, but yeah that's where I'm at right now so Okay, where I'm physically at right now is this is my hair washed without any product, um, like literally nothing, and then I slept on it. So that was last night. So this is my hair, like, not really in its truest form, but, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I get to my curly hair that I desire. 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 So in terms of the products that I use, um, I use shampoo, as everyone probably does, maybe. <laughs> Um, but I just used this argan oil one from Ren Pure Originals. It's just a massive bottle. It's a pretty decent shampoo. I mean, like, it's not my favorite of all time, but it does the job. Uh, and then the conditioner that I use is the Nexus Humectris Replenishing Conditioner. I really like this. It smells slightly like coconut, and it's really moisturizing, so I'm a huge fan of that. And then me... Me number one, um, okay Mr. Krabs. My number one curl product that I use is the Diva Curl Styling Cream Touchable Curl Definer. Um, and they have two versions of these and I have the Define and Control one. This is my holy grail product. Like no one has said that since like probably 2011 YouTube, but this is my holy grail product. It really holds my curls all day. It doesn't flatten when I sleep on them and it smells good, so. I'm the biggest fan of this, and this is basically the only curl product that I use. It is kind of expensive, but I only have to buy it once a year, so to me it's a slight investment um, that I definitely get a return on, so business major. And then if I do decide to use heat, which isn't that frequently, but probably like three times a month-ish, um, I use the Tresme Keratin Smooth, whatever, it's not that good, I don't even know if it works to be honest, but I just feel like I kind of have to, just to be careful um but yeah those are all of my products and i shower every day but i probably only wash my hair two to three times at most a week but i go to the gym sometimes so sometimes i'll just rinse it with water but that's basically like two to three times a week so oh i just want to show you guys a little before um as you can see they're like pretty loose curls this as i said isn't my true curl pattern form anything um, of that nature but it's what we're starting with and I'm not going to take a real shower I'm just going to soak my hair and then start the process so let's go do that <laughs> I'm back um, and I look like an old lady um, I put on a lighter shirt so you could see like my hair contrasting to my shirt um, okay so this is a lot so let's pretend that I just got out of the shower we're role-playing first steps first don't do anything. You want to leave your hair very, very wet. This is the key point of the entire, I won't say tutorial, but the entire routine. If you don't do this one step, you lose everything. And the first thing you're going to do is 
as I said, nothing. So you're going to leave your hair very soaking wet, and that's the point. Um, and you're just going to put in your product while your hair is soaking wet. So I take about a, I don't even know what to call that, like not a quarter, a nickel, but you're just going to want to coat your entire head root to tip, but start with the tip, so I guess tip to root. Use a lot of different methods to make sure it gets on every single piece of hair. And then, and then, I'm gonna take a little bit more product, a little bit less than last time, and please hold. Okay, okay. So then, I flip my head over, so here we go. I rub the product between my hands, so this is so weird. Just scrunch upwards, even if the curls are soaking wet. Okay, so we're back. So as you can see, my hair is considerably wavier, curlier than it was like two seconds ago, so that really works. But what you're going to want to do now is take a t-shirt because especially girls with curly hair, you don't want to be using a towel because it's just going to make your hair frizzier and cause more breakage. So use something gentle like a towel. We're going to flip back over, but I just wanted to show you guys that I'm just using a shirt to dry my hair and we're going to use this to scrunch your hair upwards like we were before. Okay, so every time we do something, it gets curlier. It's really starting to take shape and when it dries, it also uh, shrinks a little bit, not too much. The last step is going to be using um, a measurement I can actually refer to. A pea-sized amount. One of my roommate's hairs is on this. Cute. Um, we shed a lot here. So then you're just going to scrunch upwards. This idea is that you're like sealing it all in. You don't have to turn your head over for this one because at this point I'm too tired of doing that. So this is what we do. And some people will twirl the uh, pick the pieces of hair that are closest to their face like away. I don't typically do that. I do it sometimes, um, but I don't think finger twirling does a lot for my hair personally. Um, but yeah, then I'm just going to let this dry. It takes my hair about two, two and a half hours to fully dry. I have very thick curly hair, so it likes to hold all the moisture in. Um, but yeah, I'll be back to check up with you guys and give you guys some final details. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, here are my results. Um, it changes kind of every time, so sometimes it's more defined, sometimes it's a little looser. In this case, it is a little bit on the looser side. I don't really know why, but weather, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is my curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe below so you guys can be notified about future videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye guys.